Hey Saints, Principal Cochran here. We are so excited to be able to welcome students back at Interlake High School. It's been a long and challenging road, but we finally made it. We are thrilled to be able to finish the year strong and together. The purpose of this video is to share expectations and rules so that we can attend in person and ensure student and staff safety at the same time. It's imperative that these expectations be followed so that we can keep our schools open and reduce the spread of COVID-19. This video will be available on our school website if you would like to review it again and in the future. Again, we thank you for your time reviewing these expectations and welcome back, Saints. Hi, I am Nurse Allen. I am the nurse here at Interlake High School and I too would like to welcome you all back to school. I am so excited to actually see students and staff in person. It is a warm and welcoming sight. A group of us have been working on multiple mitigating measures to keep everyone as healthy and safe as possible. It's important that we all understand the why behind this. If someone were to contract COVID-19 while at school, not only would there be health risks for themselves and their family, but it could result in us having to close the building and send us back to remote only learning. Throughout this video, we are going to show you exactly what the mitigating measures are and how each one of us plays a very important role. Hello Interlake, this is Larry Matthews, your friendly announcer from CTE Land. That's career and technical education located in the 1800 wing and the horticulture building. School doors will open at 7.45 a.m. If your first period class is on the first floor of the main building, including music, theater, PE, and art rooms, enter at the main entrance by the main office. If your first period class is on the second floor of the main building, including the 2600 and 2700 hallways and library, please enter the main building at the far side of the 1700 hallway by the staff parking lot. If your first period class is in the 1800 CTE building, you must enter by the 1800 hallway facing the courtyard. If your first period class is in a portable, world language building, or horticulture building, you may go directly to your classroom to be checked in. Once you are at one of these locations, there are five things that you will need to do before you can enter the building. The first step will be to log into healthcheck.org which can be done by taking a picture of the QR code on the sign at the entrance. You must use your last name exactly as it's entered in our system in order for it to work. Your password is your student ID number. Once there, you should read each question carefully and answer. After you click Submit, a confirmation page will display. Show this to the staff member at the door. Do not come to school if you have a cough, fever, have been in contact with someone diagnosed with COVID-19 or have traveled outside the state. Sanitize your hands, have your temperature taken, wear a mask, watch your distance, stay six feet apart. You will now have completed the check-in process. Once complete, you should proceed directly into your classroom. Commons, hallways, libraries, counseling center, main office, and all other areas in the school are all closed to students. If you are in need of any additional non-health related services, please use email, Teams, or phone to communicate. Late arrivals, oh, of course we want you in class and on time. But if you happen to be late to school, you'll have to check into the attendance office prior to going to class. Teachers will not allow you into their classes without a pass from the attendance office. The receptionist at the attendance office will check, review your confirmation page, and check your temperature before giving you a pass to class. Any student who starts the day with second period will be check in at the main entrance. Transition between classes can create some of the most crowded spaces during the day. Luckily, these times are short in duration. To minimize contact and maximize physical distance, the hallways have been divided into two-way streets. Simply walk on the right side of the hallway and stairwells when transitioning from room to room.
Be aware there is a stairwell that is designated as down only. Only one student is allowed to use a restroom at a time. If someone is using the restroom when you enter, stand on the sticker and form a line out the door. Proceed to use the restroom once the person inside is finished. Now it's lunchtime. There are three designated areas where students may eat their lunch. The commons, outside courtyard, and gym hallway. Students may not leave campus during lunch, and if they do, they will not be allowed to return to the building. Students may remove their masks while eating as long as they maintain their six feet of distance and are within the three designated areas. Students should put their masks back on promptly after eating. Students are not to leave campus or enter their cars during lunchtime. Students needing to use the restroom or in need of a break during class must have a hallway pass. Remember, only one person in the restroom at a time. If you need to eat a snack or use a tissue during class time, then go out in the hall right outside the classroom. When inside your classroom, please remember to wear your mask covering your mouth and nose, watch your distance six feet apart, no eating in any classrooms, and wash your hands often throughout the day. Because we have to maintain physical distancing guidelines, students should use alternative greetings such as virtual hugs, simple waves. Now feel free to have fun and be creative with this. If you are feeling ill during the school day, tell your teacher that you are not feeling well and head to the counseling center. You will go into our wellness isolation room and be assessed for possible COVID symptoms. Unfortunately, we are not allowed to have visitors, parents, or delivery drivers inside the building. If you forgot something, unfortunately, we are not allowed to accept items or deliveries during the school day. No, no, no! <laughs> Prior to leaving your desk in the classroom or your lunch table, you are expected to throw away your own trash, wipe the table with Purell disinfectant wipe, and wash your hands. When school is over, it's time to head home. Students will not be allowed to linger in hallways, commons, or parking lots. Unfortunately, we can't allow any congregation on campus. Please also maintain six feet of separation while waiting at the bus stop. Given the limited capacity of buses, there may be extended wait times. For more information or if you have questions, please contact your administrator designated by Alpha according to your last name. If it's a non-urgent health-related question, please contact our school nurse, Ms. Allen. Thank you, and we look forward to having you back at Interlake. My gym. I'd like to welcome you back here at Interlake High School. <laughs> We're glad to have you back, but there are some CDC guidelines that we need to follow. They are as follows. Thank you. 